What up, YouTube? Bro, I'm back for another video on this beautiful day. On this beautiful day. Um, and if you are watching the replay, it's before spring. Hold on, turn my commercial down. It, it's almost before spring, and a lot of people like to grow indoors. So I want to have an open and honest conversation about growing on the in, on the indoors. Uh, I want to cover all the topics about growing on the in, on the inside, you know, sea star. So I got a special guest, somebody who is a great gardener, uh, start on the inside in the greenhouse. He can do a lot of awesome things. And they're going to add a lot of great uh, things to the uh, conversation. So welcome everybody who watches your play. Watch as much as you can. It's, it's going to be enjoyable. It's going to be worth your time. Just watch the video and trust your old cub broke form. Now, let's start off by uh, saying, can everybody hear me? I've been talking for about a minute. Can everybody hear me? And can everybody see me? K. Renee uh, say yes. Well, look, I'm going to try something real quick, K. Renee. I'm going to put my uh, headphones in, and then y'all let me know if y'all can hear me. As soon as, as soon as. All right, I got my headphones in. Let me back up from the camera. Can you hear me? Can you hear me talking? Can you hear the words that are coming out of my mouth? Can you hear the words that are coming out of my mouth? You can? You sure? All right. Without further ado, the man that has his hands and all the soil, the man that will shoot in the woods, bring home dinner, and then chop up some collard greens and have it on the side with him. That guy, hands in the dirt. Let's get it. <laughs> What's you going on, man? <laughs> you know I had to make a difference. <laughs> What's Dude, going on, man? What up with you? Now, if, first off, man. before we even get started, one of the most right. underrated YouTube YouTubers it is when it comes to this gardening community is Hands in the Dirt. And I'm going to tell you why. If you see the amount of food that he grow in his yard, if you see how he air layer fruit trees in his backyard, then everybody that's in this uh, chat right now will be subscribed already to Hands in the Dirt. That man doing this thing. That man is physical out there. I'm just saying. Hands in the Dirt. What's up with you? How it going? I, I, man, I'm out here man, trying to get ready for the spring. Trying to get ready for the spring. Trying to um hold on to whatever i got left over from that arctic blast that killed just about everything in my garden man trying to get ready for this spring yeah so and i'm look, excited for uh spring 2023 and look we're gonna holler at a couple folks before we get started say so that's cool which first off yeah. your front yeah. porch garden who the who and, and she, if you don't know oh. she was referring to, <laughs> to one of my owls that i have in the back i nicknamed my owl who the who Shout out the front porch garden, uh, OG <laughs> of the Broke Farmer Channel. Uh, K Renee in the building. What's up, K Renee? Psalm 146 in home and garden in the building. Good evening, y'all. I'll be listening from the so get out of them bushes. Get out of them bushes. Come on in here. <laughs> me, and, me and Mr. States gonna do some talking and we're gonna talk some good yeah. talk. I'm hype. I've been drinking a little bit, just a little bit. I've been drinking a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm kind of hype. I'm really enjoying myself. We're gonna have a good time. I promise you that. Yeah. Uh and, oh, before we go any further, <clears throat> yesterday was Wednesday. And if you don't know about wine dying wind, you miss not. You truly miss not. It's a great time where we have great fun and really enjoy ourselves over there on Hands yeah. in the Dirt channel with bougie yeah. guard. Uh, I mean bougie purple uh yeah. everyday life of an OCD is chick. It's fun. Yeah. I'm, I'm just going to tell you. I ain't going to tell you nothing about it. Go over there and see for yourself. Don't worry about what I'm talking about. All right. Uh, Angela's Garden Delight in the B. 
Beat on it. Happy Thursday, cuz. What up, cuz? Cheryl Faulkner in the building. What's up, Cheryl Faulkner? What's North Carolina. Go ahead and throw them up, Tracy. I'm my bad. Say something. Like a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> I, hey, I thought I was doing too much. I got the right person here, though. <laughs> Lorenzo Preston in the building. Ham, pink, waving. <clears throat> okay. All right. We waving too, then. Yeah. So good, Gardner. Calvin in the building. Calvin, What's come up, on, make Calvin? another video. Mr. Calvin, make another What's video. Come on, man. What's up, Calvin? Mary Ellis, sunflower girl in the building. What's up, Mary Ellis? Glad to have you here again. Jess Dorsham in the building. If you don't know about Dorsham, hey, go check out when it comes to cooking, uh, inform yeah. informative talks, and really yeah. talking about some great subjects. Jess yeah. Dorsham is that person. It's a really diverse channel. She's doing yeah. the thing over there. Shout out. Shout out to Dorsham. Uh, G. Jones from D.C. in the building. G. Okay. Jones from from dc is this uh your first time in here g jones from dc if this your first time in here please let me know so we can properly welcome you over here yeah uh sandra's full south fulton garden in the building i think you know her stacy <laughs> yeah yeah south fulton garden yeah nella's in the building what's up nella nella is this your first time in here let me know i see a lot of new names in here stacy yeah. I guess when, I, see, I guess when the word got out, the hands of the dirt was over here. People show up. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> they heard old cousin broke was gonna be on. Oh, I don't think it's me. I, I look, I be on the same channel all the time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me see. Did I miss. It? I saw a new name. Oh, Joseph B in the building. Who the who? <laughs> <laughs> Randy G in the bit. What's up, Randy? Glad to have hey, you. Randy. Randy, uh, another one of the OGs on the Broke Farmer channel. Randy G. Uh, oh, here we go. G Jones said, uh, yes, sir, coming from Lead Farmer Group. Hey, appreciate to have you over here. The big lead over there doing this thing, as right. always. Uh, oh, Gardening yeah. Warrior Q in the building. Say, hello, you two crazy garden. And Gardening Warrior Q. Is this your first time in here too? We got a lot of newbies in here. If it is, let us know. We'll welcome you to the channel. Stay at Aquarius in the building. If you don't know this guy, a hey, really cool guy. Really enjoy Homestead Aquarius, man. Uh, when it comes to uh, gardening in two streets, one of the better people you will uh come across on here. Growing with Hudson. In the building, also has a great channel over doing the thing as always. Uh, yeah. D Jones in the building. What's up, D Jones? Now, look, uh, before we get started, Stacey, uh, mm -hmm. you know how this, this YouTube um uh, algorithm working, all this other stuff. So, right. if you don't mind, let's start off by hitting the like button, help me out, and then once it. YouTube find out Stace over here, it'll help him out too. That's right. <laughs> so look, hit the like button, and if you get a minute, put at Broke Farmer in the chat. Then hit hit send or enter, and then hit hands at hands in the. What's your at when they change the at sign on YouTube? It's at hands in the dirt. I think it's at hands in the dirt. Yeah. Put at hands in the dirt. In the comment, if y'all don't mind, let's let's help the algorithm out. Yeah. I mean, let's do this. But we're here, and I titled this "Indoor Seed Starting 101." It's 101. I never understood what a 101 was, but every everybody put it at the end of some sign important, so I did it too. 101. Yeah. I guess it's a class. But right. first thing we're gonna start out with seeds. When it comes to indoor, um gardens and getting started on the inside whether it's inside of your house or the grow i mean inside of a tent is mm -hmm. it's indoors is right. it's protected from something mm -hmm. now one aspect of that is the seed the seed the seed right. is the beginning of everything 
That's true. Now, Stace, is it certain preference you have on your seat? Is it one place that's your OG go to place to get your seat? I actually bounce around all over, man. Um, I like Baker Creek. I like Hoss Tools. Um, I never got my Hoss Tools, dude. They right here in Georgia. They got really? some. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right here in Georgia. I know that. Yeah. So Hoss Tools. Um, what's that? Uh, I, I I bounce all over the place, man. Um, I'll uh, go online and just in the Google and hit, you know, seeds, vegetable seeds. And I just look at all the different companies and it's, I see something that got a decent price. So I jump on that. I've actually bought seeds from um, Amazon and eBay also. You know what I'm saying? Some of those um, and had um, really good seeds. I never, I hadn't gotten to somebody that sold me something that was bad or didn't germinate. But yeah, I bounce all over, man. Wherever I can find some good price, I'll give you a try. And if you send me some bogus seeds, then I'm not fooling with you no more. Yeah, yeah, I feel I, much more. I, I, I yeah. do. Uh, Baker Creek is my OG, and that's because Baker Creek had the best marketing strategy ever. Once yeah. you order seeds from them, they send you a catalog. Now, yeah, yeah. if you send me a catalog, I'm gonna look through a seed catalog. <laughs> yeah, hey, look, hey, after that, Stacey, they just reeling yeah. me in after that. They got you, but, then. they got you on the hook. I'm, yeah. I'm gone, I'm in the boat. You know what I mean? You might have put me on a strain. But it's other people that's within our community that all sell seeds. Uh, Dan from the culture. Dan sells seed. I got some good seeds from Dan. <laughs> yeah, I got some. Yeah. And then a lot of people sell seeds on the flip side marketplace. Um, just that Google too. flip side marketplace and some of your uh, favorite uh, YouTubers are selling seeds. And I got some seeds from Homestay of Heart. Yeah, that that no, that ain't gonna work. Just trust it me. Ain't seeds are just, yeah, but uh, Homestay of Heart also sells seeds. So I got my you know, seed box right here. We ready? Woo! Hey, <laughs> that's hey, that's what you doing? You doing it? Hey, <laughs> when the cook say, "Hey man, uh, they don't don't nobody call you and say, Stacey, do you got them seeds?" They call you and say, "Hey, Stacey, I need this seed." <laughs> I already know you yeah. got. It. Yeah, well, me, some of my yeah. I like to experiment, so yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I and I I definitely follow some of your experiments and say it's good. Right. I'm gonna try <laughs> Kenyatta's journey <laughs> yeah. in the building, super farm in the building. Um a, a newer channel to the to our garden community. I call it ours because I, I take ownership because I love this community, but super farm. I like that channel. It's a very enjoyable channel to watch, y'all. Um, I think yeah. Stace, you've been over there before too, ain't you? Yeah, I've been over there. Yeah. She's hey, still talking about uh, tomatoes. Yeah. yeah, tomato. That was a great video, very informative video. Go over yeah. there and check out yeah. Super Farm. Tell them uh Stacy and Sid. Tell them Stacy and Sid. <laughs> and uh Fifi's journey in the building. What's up, Fifi? Hey. Melissa Martinez in the building said, first time on the live. Thanks for all that you two do to guide us on gardening. I just bought my first citrus tree and hope they do well here in Athens, Georgia. You up in the hometown. <laughs> you talking to the right people. <laughs> you are definitely yeah. talking to the right people. Now, Melissa, I'm going to let you know that um, I'm a part of a gardening community. I'm not the head of the gardening community. I'm not executive. I'm none of that. I'm one part of it. We all combine to give each other ideas and help each other as much as possible. And when we do live like this, it's an interactive way for us to, to get better at gardening and, and get some tips from each other. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Once you're in this community, you don't have to give nobody a dollar. You don't have to do that. You just support me. I support you. And to keep flowing just like that. Yeah. Did I leave anything out, Steve? No, that's that's basically it. I was born in Athens, so shout out to them dogs. <laughs> shout out to them dogs. Hey, I forgot. <laughs> Melissa Martinez, check out Hands in the Dirt. He right there in your neighborhood growing stuff. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, before we get any deeper, Odom Homestead will be live tonight 
get it off your chest Thursday. Definitely go over there and check out my guy Odom uh Homestead. Yeah. Hey, he a broke farm approved, dude. Hey, love that guy. Yeah. He got the stamp. He stamp <laughs> over That's my man. He cool up in Canada. Man. Yeah. All right, cool guy. Cool guy. If you catch one of his live, one of the most laid back people you'll ever see on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh, my guy Ram Greenhand. What Rambo from uh Rambo over there in <laughs> London? They over there drinking a spot of tea. Really cool guy. He growing it yeah. a lot, man. It's a different type of gardening. If you right. grow in a different way, check out Rumbo Green Hands and get right. another right. aspect on growing. It's all yeah. kinds of ways to grow. All kinds. Yeah. Now, so, something else we're gonna get into when it comes to indoor seed store. We talked about where you get the seeds from, but what kind of soil are you gonna put it in into the growth? I'm, this year, I'm 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 either I'm gonna make my own soil using peat moss, or I'm gonna get either that Burpees or one of those brands. I know Burpee got a good brand of seed starting mix. So I just one bought some. Yeah, I just I just bought some uh Burpee seeds. I caught it on sale at Lowe's. I don't know what it had going on, but I caught it for three dollars. I bought too bad. Mm. Fit, fit girl for life in the building. building. Let me know if this is your first time here. You no, know, fit girl for life. I think I've seen you before. Uh, Mike's chaotic gardening in the building. Right. Big up to Mike. Uh, Janice W in the building. Say so, hey, broke, broken chat. Watching the live on the computer train, leaving work in Chicago. Nothing like a good garden chat after work. Big facts, big What's going on? ain't nothing like garden garden chat. GT Junior in the field. What's up, GT? Uh I, oh, I got high cold high. as soon as he came in here. <laughs> <laughs> I had I, I had a certain uh taste for moose. I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> but uh Aisha Howard in the middle. What's up, Aish? Um hey. so um we were talking about soil. You were talking about the seed star mix. You say you're gonna mm. try burpees. That's what I got. Yeah. But yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna be honest now. I want everybody in the comment to uh, chime in on this and let me know what y'all think about this. Now, if I got a seed and I direct sow it outside, it's okay to put in the potting soil or raised bed soil. But if I started, yeah. On the inside, ideally, I need seed star mix. This is my first year ever buying seed star mix because I, I couldn't yeah, make it yeah. compete in my head. Now, somebody right. in the in the chat or Stacy convinced me I'm wrong. No, you're not wrong. Um, I like to direct so, but certain seeds, not so much. Like tomato seeds, they will take off because I don't have tomatoes fall off my plants. And next thing I know, I got tomato plants growing right in the garden. You know what I mean? Even in the grass, yeah. like some of the ones I don't throw, and I got oh, tomato yeah, yeah, seeds. Yeah. So they will germinate. You know what I mean? But I think what it is is, you know, with the potting soil, it's so soft, and you don't have the sticks and all these other things in it, and you're trying to control the, you're trying to control the environment. Also, you know, when you're growing in the cups and inside of the house and on the grow lights. And, and whatnot so you got a, a better chance at germination i believe um when you're growing in these you know that soft uh cocoa core or uh pea moss or whatever it may be i think now, that's the only now difference you, now you know as soon as i drop them seeds in there and don't work out you know my uh email uh dm or something <laughs> like that like, hey <laughs> hey let me uh cases yeah. 55 in the building hoochly yeah. In the building, people stay mad at Mir Miracle Grow, but that seed star mix does a trick for me here in Central Florida. Yeah, I've heard some awful things about uh Miracle Grow. I heard that they uh take the tags off pillows, they trip elderly people. I've heard awful <laughs> things about <laughs> Miracle Grow, man. And you know, that's just one one reason I don't fool with Miracle Grow, but in all honesty. I haven't seen it do nothing wrong. 
No. But I've heard so much awful stuff. I just don't want to try. Yeah. I mean, I don't grew plenty of seeds in pot and soil. I'm talking about plenty yeah. in pot and soil. I, <laughs> you, know I, you know, I don't know if everybody knows, but my uh, germination rate is 86.9%. 86.95 percent so uh i if it bring my germination rate down of course i'm not gonna use seed star mix no more no. <laughs> uh fit uh fit girl for life so i caught a few live first time i comment i think your video hey appreciate it appreciate it but hey i want everybody who don't usually comment just to know that we are all gardeners i mean yeah. it's okay to comment Somebody, if I say something, I stay say something you don't agree with, put it in the chat. Mm -hmm. Just be respectful with it. It's an open yeah. and honest conversation. Yeah. I think a lot of lives, you know, is one person saying, you know, this, what I do, yeah, yeah, yeah. This ain't that live. Stacy's yeah. live is an interactive live. My live is yeah. an interactive live. So feel yeah. free to comment. Just don't curse because I want to get these 75 cents. I'm going to get out this video. Trying to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> don't <laughs> don't curse and don't use no weird language. Um, let me see. Gardner War, you said uh I had some guys moving stuff in stores today and they asked me if they were supposed to take my dirt. I said, I don't use the dirt is dead. This is rich homegrown life feel of uh, microbial <laughs> soil. <laughs> <laughs> now, hands in the dirt. When he yeah. say hands in the dirt, he mean he can put his hands in any dirt yeah. or soil and grow something. Yeah. That's what that means. Hands in the yeah. dirt. Yeah. It don't matter. I'm, yeah, hands in the soil don't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, I, that was not your challenge. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hands, in, hands the in the soil. <laughs> Look, Stacey, you probably want to have as many followers you got now. <laughs> I don't and, know. You know, we we we've always called soil dirt. You know what I mean? Yeah. The way I grew up, old school. You know what I mean? So we know what it is. It's just a play on the name. <laughs> hey, look, hold on. I I gotta uh close this one that is dark now, and I yeah. feel weird with with the one that open. So yeah. Stacey, could you entertain uh the yeah, people? I entertain. I got who else we got in here? Uh Karenae's garden, Gina versus Gina. The OCD is chick. What's going on, Nikki? North Carolina gardener. Good to see you guys in here, man. We're gonna chop it up a little bit. What my man say? Right, hands in the hands in the uh, dirt because you have magic hands. You turn dirt to hey, amen. I'm gonna make it do what it do. If I had the stick, I don't care what I put it in. We're gonna make we're gonna eat. <laughs> we're gonna eat. GT yeah. Juice, I've been using burping, but I am making the switch. It's got okay. I had pretty good success, you know. I started seeds on the inside, but I use uh oh man, it was a really I think it was called gold, something black gold soil or something, and mm. it worked really well on the inside, but yeah. I just hear people talking about this this seeds. I want to know. Uh Calvin say I use pine soil for both. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I use pine soil too. But I'm gonna um I think I make either I'm gonna look at the cost. It got to be cost effective, right? You know, so I'm gonna look at buying the big block of peat moss, the whole nine. I'm not gonna be just throwing money at something, just be trying. So it got to be cost if it's more cost effective, because I know a lot of people use the pro mix um see starters too and that's supposed to be really really good so whatever floats your boat they don't even yeah, sell pro mix, mix around here i, I yeah. haven't ran across it they got it here but when i looked it up i had to go to i could order it here had to pick it up in fedville because they didn't sell it in our stores they sell them in other places in other home depots and lows but not in mine so i would have to order it and go pick it up at that store because they do sell it at other stores they now, don't even uh, ship it to what? I won't ship it. No, nah, they ship it to, to those stores, but they won't ship it to you. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> now, as of, no, this ain't my first time um, growing on the inside. This is my first time using seed starter mix. 
Um, yeah. I think I've grown two years on the inside for pretty good results. I would say. Yeah. Um, yeah. There she go. That there your home girl, Stacey. The everyday hey, life of an OCD chick, Nikki. Say good evening, broke hands and dirty cuz. Let's start some seed. Big Let's fat. Now, if y'all don't know, um, I talk about channels on here because some channels I really like and I think are very helpful. Um, yeah. Nick Herbs. Oh my god. If, yeah. if you are interested in growing herbs, I feel like everybody in the garden community got their own little teas, they look yeah. to come to garden. Nick is one of those people. When it comes to organization and growing herbs, yeah. Nick and your person, and she will show you how to cook them if you if you watch to the end of the video. Yeah. Big old plate. Who's, who's that? Huh? I said big old plate. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, I man, I just be one of the uh, UPS and one of them uh, uh, to go plate or something. Uh who's to yeah. say a seed star mix is sterile and will not contain any soil, diseases, fungus. It's right, 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 right. Because most of that's it good. is not soil, so that's true. Yeah, most yeah. of it's cocoa core or peat moss. Uh, yeah. Now, this is what I like to hear. Rambo Greenhead said, "I don't follow rules too much. I don't either. I am Me not either. a rule follower." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah now I you might watch. Yeah, that is it. <laughs> you might watch my channel. I'm like, man, why is he doing that? Yeah, but yeah. I'm gonna be better this year when it comes to making videos. I'm gonna tell you what I'm thinking. <laughs> so some stuff don't make sense, but it's what I'm thinking. Um, let me see. Nobody wanted to come. Oh, there we go. There you go. Gardening uh why you cute. That's what I'm talking about. My guy. Um uh, Rambo Greenhand said I prefer to sow outside. Okay, now yeah, this 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 is very interesting. Now, mm -hmm. I prefer to sow on the outside, but start mm -hmm. growing on inside, uh, kill two birds with one stone. First off, right. you get that itch. You got to scratch that itch. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing. Mm -hmm. If you're a gardener, you want to plant seeds. That is your right. thing. That's what you want to do. The yeah. other thing is, some things out in the garden take a long time to develop. Now, things right. like watermelons, cantaloupe i'm not gonna start none of that on the inside because it grows too yeah. fast but yeah. peppers and tomatoes and what also loops into that those things transplant well everything mm -hmm. doesn't transplant well mm -hmm. uh corn stuff like that go through a uh, transplant shop yeah. so those are the two reasons i do it. what right do you agree with that stage or is that's the reason why you I agree that 100 yeah, one, like you say, scratch that itch. Two, you get to get a jump on it, and definitely depending on what zone you live in, right? You know what I'm saying? Depending on what zone you live in, if you go to your last frost there date, you go. count back six to eight weeks. By the time your plant is of size and maturity, you already got your mature plant. You don't have to go to a big box store and pay $5 for a plant. They got them $5 each now. No, no, no sir no sir um i was watching somebody video in california and they were oh, saying they california already got <laughs> they already got tomato plants out there for 20 dollars i said oh yeah what? <laughs> <laughs> oh no now no man. let me uh not some neat comments out uh gardening warrior q say i would not use miracle grow i'm still fighting earwigs and fungus and natural because of some soil a friend of mine gifted me uh brought it straight from the home depot to my apartment yeah that that's yeah. one of the things I, I hear about them yeah 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 and miracle grow first off i know y'all watching and this ain't hands in the dirt saying this this old your old cousin broke farmer saying this you got to do better you got a bad name in the community first off <laughs> you got to fix your name in this community we don't <laughs> trust you for whatever reason <laughs> you got to fix that name come into the community yeah. Give me and Stacey yeah. some free soil and some free compost. Yeah, yeah. put some sample. Yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll test spread the work. Put it out for you. <laughs> 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 hey, we're we're going to get honest opinion about it. Indiana yeah. Jackson in the building. What's up, Indiana Jackson? What oh, up, wow. What's up, Indiana Jackson? Uh, now, this one, this is an interesting one to me. 
Randy G said Fox Farm Potting Soil was the best results I've ever had. Now, okay. you will uh, need a part-time job buying Fox Farm Potting right, right. Soil. Let's start there. It's $16 right. a bag. And, wow. and one uh, feed and seed store I can get it. $16. Good Lord, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Dude, have yeah. you ever tried that station? Uh-uh. Uh -uh. I, I'm really old it. school, old fashioned. <laughs> and I don't know. Pine soil with me, I don't know. I got a real different opinion on pine soil. Um, yeah. First off, no matter how cheap pine soil is, I feel like mm -hmm. you if you add compost to it, I add mm -hmm. a little perlite to it, it's just yeah. as good as anything else on the market. That's true. I'm, that's true. That's true. And, and that's why yeah. I. If you have a sifter or you make your little homemade sifter, you can sift your pot and soil, you know what I'm saying, to get the big sticks out of it, mix in your perlite or your vermiculite or whatever, you know, you want to put in it and boom, there you go. All right, I'm going to throw you all off for a minute. Next time you go to Home Depot, Lowe's or wherever you get pot and soil for, from, read the back of the bag. I, I, I'm not going to say nothing else. Read the back yeah. of the bag. <laughs> And compare that against the ingredients in the other bag, and you tell me what's the difference. What's the difference? Yeah. K. Renee yeah. Garth, Pine Soil Star Seed. Let me know how the starter mix works for you, bro. First off, y'all know me. I'm the good, the bad, and the ugly over here, Stacy. Yeah. The ugly. Me too. Me too. Stacy, the same way. That's why I respect yeah. Stacy's channel so much. Stacy, yeah. do a thing, but if something goes wrong, when uh the artist free killed this stuff, get what he did. He cut the sure. phone on and went right out there and said, Look, <laughs> look, I, he walked around his bed and he said, Look, this dead. This uh, dead. See, I ain't nothing in there. <laughs> this one on CPR. I, <laughs> I respect that because yeah, and against no fault uh against nobody else. But some people, you know, want to show you the best part of garden. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Don't nobody want to always show you the negative and negative of right, garden right. because people want to encourage people to garden. But yeah. every now and then, you got to slap them with that reality check. Yeah. Plant keep that. I keep it a book. Yeah, keep it a book. Gina versus Gina in the building. Glad to have you. Hey, Gina, let me know if you got that. I sent you today. Uh... Don't know about like talking about that. Uh, look, not to snort again. First off, look at him. Let, let, let me tell you about something. <laughs> if I get a, a, I can't fake my laugh like some people fake my laugh. If I <laughs> laugh hard, I'm gonna snort. It's just, it's just what it is. Let's go get that out of the way. Let's talk about it. That's what it is. If I laugh hard, I'm gonna <laughs> snort. And uh, it's different when you talk to people from the same state you are. Because they know the yeah. you you understand their lingo and I understand yeah. understand my country talk so I'm gonna laugh right. a lot because we understand each other probably more yeah. than some people do. Yeah. Hey, right, hands in the soil is catchy though. <laughs> no, it ain't. Yeah. Oh, it ain't. Hey, hey uh, to be guys, welcome to hands in the soil. <laughs> hands in the soil. Hey. Shout out to hands in the soil. <laughs> if you have some seeds, put them in the soil. <laughs> the soil. I right, did look. Then you gotta pronounce it as soil. Put it in the soil. Yeah, soil. No. Soil. Not the soil. Old oh, school. Put them in the dirt. <laughs> in the dirt. Uh, Joseph B. Dirt. Us in Georgia, it's dirt, not soil. We we say yeah. all of it. We say all of it. Yeah. yeah. Fifi Jordan say, smash that like button and go over there and uh, subscribe. to hands in the dirt. If you ain't subscribed to oh, yeah. it, usually I say go over to somebody's channel, watch one video, you like their video, you know, subscribe. I'm gonna tell you, just subscribe to Hands in the Dirt. Now I'm Appreciate I watch his video. I don't think I ever missed a hands in the dirt video since he's been making videos. I'm telling you, one of the most underrated gardeners on YouTube. Big facts. Right. Uh Homestead Aquarius say, yeah. But can you talk about dirty pans, but not soil pans? <laughs> what? <laughs> soil pants is totally different from dirty pants. <laughs> I just, look, I just caught that when you start saying. 
Paul said it clear. I, <laughs> dude, I needed that one. I needed that one in my life. <laughs> oh, here's another one. Uh, Joseph B. said, anyone else? Oh, Fox Farm. Is that the one we were talking about earlier? Yeah, Fox the Farm. That's Farm. the one that's called 16 Yeah, I've seen it, but I've never used it. But um, Fox Farm do got an organic uh, fertilizer, uh, 493 NPK, which works well. I'm telling you, I saw the difference when I put it in there. That stuff is awesome. Uh, Mike's Chaotic Garden said Pro Mix is great. Dude, what what do they say on Pro Mix? Where well, I live at, I'm not ordering off Amazon. I have to order mine and have my father-in-law pick it up down in Fayetteville. It's crazy. I mean, they won't even ship it to my home depot. But the, the crazy thing is, in Georgia, we do a lot of gardening in Georgia. That's right. why so many nurseries, so many. Dude, I literally can. It's five places within 20 minutes where I can buy fruit trees from. That's why I got so many. Yeah. Besides ordering them off, offline. Yeah. But I mean, garden is a big thing. So if you sell um pot and soil, why aren't you in Georgia? I don't get that. Right, right, right. I, October Oakwood. Kind of crazy Oakwood market. Uh, they 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 losing somewhere then. Yeah. Um here we go. Oldham Homestead say I use uh broke down wood chip when I have yeah. That's yeah, that's all so most <laughs> yeah. But <clears throat> now nah, this has nothing to do with the, the topic tonight, but I <laughs> I feel like this makes sense when I just read this comment. A lot of my citrus trees, I will be putting uh three parts small pine bark chips. In the soil mix, mm -hmm. that that's mm -hmm. gonna be my thing going forward. I'm gonna mix it with cactus mix, uh, small mm -hmm. pine bark chips. Uh, I I want to say the three to one ratio. And look, when people talk about ratio, let me tell y'all something about these ratios. When it comes to soil mix, get a cup, dip three cups or something. There you go. And then dip one something else. That's three to one yeah. ratio. <laughs> That's it. That's yeah. it. That's what three to one is. That's what it is. People make that way harder than it's got to be. Yeah. But yeah. I, I just, I don't know. It's so much. I don't know. I get excited when I can have a chance to talk about uh, fruit tree. My bad, y'all. My bad. <laughs> we ain't talking about fruit tree. Uh, yeah. Mike Chaotic Garden said, I'm trying early outside garden and raised beds that had clear plastic dome as many greenhouse. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What they call that, Stacey? The, uh, um, when, when are uh, when are sowing? Something home, they uh, what they call it, uh, what they call it when they put their little dome over it. It's a name for that. Um, they make like a mini greenhouse over the raised beds. A hoop house. Oh, I yeah. A hoop house. Uh, um, uh, God, Lee, Stacey. And then what they call it, they put over the raised bed, a hoop house. It's, it's like having a mini greenhouse right on top of your beds. Yeah. I can't. Yeah. Oh man, you caught my guard. Um, yeah, it's somebody cold frame. That's what it is. It's a cold, cold frame. Well, yeah, one cold version frame. of it's called a cold frame. Another yeah. version is called a. Ah, uh, oh, it's gonna come to me. It's gonna come to me. Uh, Aisha House at Walmart sells a pink comfort pack of Pro Man. Get out of here. It just depends on where you live, though. Which you know what I mean. Like that's the problem. They no, sell it here, but not in, in mine. Georgia. Aisha, you yeah. in Georgia still, ain't you? Aisha, how? Oh, uh, in Georgia. Let me know. I, I don't tell me what city you stay in, but just <laughs> tell me if you still in Georgia. Because it's I'm not saying there's no widows in the chat, but yeah, widows you know, everywhere. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Indiana backyard gardener in the building, What's and she is participating on? in the seed swap. We seed just talking swap. about seed. If you yeah. got a seed and you don't want that seed, but you want a different seed, you might want to enter that seed swap. <laughs> <laughs> and you see, Stacy got them big boy seeds over there. No whammies. <laughs> All of them are grade A heirloom seeds. Stacy got over there. <laughs> That's that's what you yeah, want to be seed swapping from. <laughs> Let's be honest. Yeah, I saw uh, something that Adrian had that I want to, so we can do a little seed swap. 
Uh, Nikki said, uh, bro, thank you for the kind word. Check is in the mail. Look here, I appreciate it. Now, you know how, <laughs> how it goes, Nick. It's $10 for every kind thing I say on your uh, on this live. So I'm going to talk to you. GT Jr. said, that's what I will do. He's talking to Mike. My bad. Mom. Stacey, you got me all in folk business, man. Come on, Stacey. Hey, man. GT Business is your business, man. He's he from Georgia. <laughs> He's from Georgia, too. Yeah. Uh. Did I miss? Oh, ooh, ooh, did I miss anybody's space? Oh, Strawberry uh, uh, 32 in the building. Now, I know you knew Strawberry 32. Because, uh, first off, I no, it's good Strawberry. It's, it's high, I mean, short enough, but it's Strawberry 32. First off, Strawberry, you if you the team would have thought of it instead of SW. I don't, I don't know, but I know that's yeah, I know that's what it means. But uh first off, strawberry 32. Welcome to the garden community. This is hands in the <laughs> dirt know. to my to my what is that to my left? Yeah, hands in dirt to my left. Awesome gardener. This is our gardening community. Go up and down in the comments. Some of the greatest gardeners, not on YouTube, but in the world, is in the comments. So welcome to this gardening community. Feel free to stop by anybody's channel and enjoy yourself. These are awesome people. Speaking of awesome people, hands in the dirt. Do you know who this is? Yeah. Deep Do you in know the dirt. Maureen Washington, one of my favorite channels, man. One of my favorite channels, man. I, I love like me some Maureen. I love deep me some Maureen. Dirt. Hands in it, the dirt, deep in the dirt. dirt. I like that. Deep in the dirt. It's, it's yeah. dirt. Is is different. She funny. She do a lot of cooking. She got chickens. She Maureen is funny. I love her video. I can't watch. It. I ain't gonna even lie. Um, let me see that missing. At home with Sharif in the bit. What's up, Sharif? Another awesome gardener. Uh, good evening, Rope Farm and Chat. I've been missing your uh Sunday live. Glad to catch you tonight. First off, uh, Sharif, let me let me talk to you for a minute. Do you know who this guy is to my left? The hands in the dirt. How you really? You just gonna come in? You ain't gonna say nothing. The hands in the dirt. Come on, Sheree. Come on, Sheree. You better than that. I hey, know you are. How are you? What? And look, I, look, now this our homie right here, La La Texas Eight Eight. Texas you know, eight. Builder. La La. La La. Another awesome gardener. Oh yeah. Miss Shirley O. G. Gardener. She ain't uh she ain't started gardening last week. She ain't started nah. gardening last year. She is an mm -mm. OG, original Triple gardener. OG. Triple OG original, West Side. <laughs> OG, original gardener. OG original gardener. Y'all y'all don't remember that uh iced tea? I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on. I know it can't sing them lyrics. Be so last you got. Got me with a surprise deep freeze in March. I lost all uh blooms on my uh growth fruit on your fruit tree. Man, states had the yeah. same problem. Yeah, same thing. I killed it killed just about all my stuff. Yeah. And Georgia is so different, man. I mean it's, it's good, way different crazy. than when I was younger. <laughs> it's crazy. It, it's yeah. it's literally January and it's 73 yeah. degrees outside. I had to yeah. open the door of my greenhouse. Because yeah. I was telling states it was 96 degrees in the green high. Yeah. Good loud. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh D Jones said yes, Fox, Fox Farm is dumb and smell. It ain't dumb. It's not dumb. Because never limit yourself. If you got a product that you feel is worth the money, charge what you feel like it's worth. Now, when right. people don't buy it, then you take the price back. <laughs> yeah. North Carolina guy. Okay, I got a bag of pea, pea and perlite. perlite. That's all you, you on the way then. Yeah, that's all you need. Those roof heaters to get rid of ice. What? Oh, Mike talking to someone. You know, Mike in oh, the frozen yeah. tundra. You know, he in the tub. <laughs> he won't be talking to GT. Yeah, somebody went in that ice age. Hudson say Fox for me $25. Good loud. Hey, it'll stay up. It'll stay up. I could have sixteen mm -hmm. trillion dollars in my pocket, Stacey, and I ain't finna pay twenty five dollars for the gold. I can no, go in my backyard, up in the wood line, move some of them leaves out of the way, 
dig down and get all the soil I want, sift it, and I'm straight. <laughs> hey, <clears throat> and something before we get to the rest of stuff, Stacey made a good point. Have you ever watched videos from people from Africa, uh, United Kingdom, Thailand, and places like that? Look at that soil they're using. I ain't yeah. no perlite in that soil. They, mm -mm. they, they literally go <laughs> in their backyard and dig and they propagate, grow plants and everything else. Yeah, yeah. Am, am I wrong, Stacey? You ain't wrong. It look like straight dirt to me, a lot of them. But <laughs> and they grow but it's the same thing here in Georgia, uh, bro. People talking about, oh, you can't draw, uh, grow in clay. Georgia just about all red clay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just about all red clay. All right. They, and, they, and red clay has nutritional mineral. value for your uh, trees. Yeah. Let's start there. Yeah, it does. Red yeah, it does. clay is okay. I don't think yeah. about red clay is it doesn't release moisture or water. Right. Like the uh sandy loam soil that I got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if yeah. I dig deep enough, it's red clay here too. Yeah. But yeah. it's got nutrients in it. It's yeah, nutrient it rich. But yeah. you know what I mean? I, I don't think people know that. Yeah. Uh Nick is saying sixteen dollar per bag. Pass me the fuck in that field with miracle <laughs> growth for five hundred hours. <laughs> yeah, dude. I no, I'm not. Uh Joseph B said, uh, I don't know if you knew uh Joseph B were rich, Stacey. Uh Joseph B said I paid 20 bucks for a two two cubic bag of popcorn. Good lot. Yeah, that's a lot of money. Now, oh mad cop, man. How did I miss my guy? I saw mad cow in here. The big eagle fan. Oh man, it's all kind of people in the states. Why you tell me that? My granny I'm garden. Here. Yeah, in the field. Bam it. Bam it, Mr. Arthur. Bam. Mr. Arthur Butler. Yes, <laughs> What's sir. up, cousin Hansender? What's going on? All right, we're gonna get to the to the uh uh Psalm 146 said broke from my has I had got some of, of the expensive better homes and garden raised bed soil mix. Last year to put my seasons in, and everything I put in there turned yellow and died. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> what is it? No. Better homes and garden raised beds. So I mean, oh, that's uh, that's at Sam's, ain't it? Ain't that the stuff you get from Sam? I don't know. I ain't never bought none of the stuff. I think that's it. Mm -mm. Uh oh, DMV Garden in the building. What's up, DMV Garden? No. L and L Honeycomb Homestead in the building. All the time, no see. I like that name, Honeycomb Homestead. Yeah, yeah L and L been around for a while. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna get to. The, oh, I saw. Look, I saw our Auntie in here, Stacey. Where she go? Yeah, well, Auntie and Dale. I don't see yeah, Auntie yeah, and yeah. Dale in the building. And one North of my Carolina. one of my buddies. Hey y'all, a long time piece of light, y'all. Barefoot in the garden. Chrissy. Hey, Chrissy, my buddy. Hey, good to see you, uh, Chrissy. Hey, good to see you. I just saw on uh, TikTok. She done started her TikTok channel. Oh, she TikToking it now. She TikToking it now. She TikToking. Okay. <laughs> TikTok. Uh. Yeah. I, I got. Uh, woo! Brand Nick loves seeing more and more people Ratchnick. gardening. Up. Ratchnick one, Ratchnick. I'm gonna say Ratchnick, and you tell me if I'm wrong. One loves seeing more and more people gardening. Hey, right. we we gonna spread the word. We gonna spread the word about gardening. Everybody gonna. You remember back in the day, long time ago, they say uh, trying to have some chickens in the backyard. Oh, we gonna yeah. do that. Oh, yeah. Mary, grow with me in the building. Glad to have you in here, Mary. Grow. Hey, Mary. Stacey, how far am I behind, Stacey? Let me go Wait. on the screen. Like me, man, this screen be jumping so fast. What are you talking about? Sifting some soil and more in the building. What's up, uh, Mom? Uh, Maria Graham in the building. Uh, bless her heart, homestead in the building. Say, hey, y'all, having to finally make it to somebody's life. 
Look at welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. welcome. <clears throat> this young man to my left is hands in the dirt. Definitely check him out. Um, oh, yeah, appreciate it. But we, I like that name. Go. Yeah. Bless her heart. heart. That's what your grandma, grandma used to say. <laughs> oh, bless her heart. Bless her heart. <laughs> But well, we're gonna hit the next one when it comes to C Star. Now, grow light. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people have big windows that they put a lot of their uh plants next to, and they grow well. They grow well. Yeah. well. Grow light will uh, help them from getting so leggy, and you know what I mean? Yeah. Give them that a little extra. Yeah. They go forward. Yeah. Now, I'm I'm not going to say one grow light is better than the other. I'm, I'm not going to say that. But I would say if you got, we'll, we'll just go off money version. If you get a less expensive grow light, uh, you might just want to leave it on all night. I don't know how else to say that. <laughs> but <laughs> if you got a, if you got a uh, more expensive uh, grow light, 12 to 16 hours, it should be fine. But uh, yeah. I mean, what about what you think, Stacey? Are you a grow yeah, light you know, fan? I'm not, I'm, not a, I'm not an expert on grow lights. I, this is my first time actually even looking at some to uh, use. I'm, you know, I normally gonna grow in my greenhouse, but um, I've seen a people. A lot of people have a lot of success with them. Look like the LED one seems to work. You know, really, really good. Um, I'm just doing my research on them right now, but I know that you know you. And other people using them. I'm saying, whatever, if it works for you, I will keep chopping. You know what I mean? If it works for you to get you a good jump on your on your garden, especially people that stay in cold places, you know, you may yes. want to get a jump on it. And um, yeah, so I don't, yeah. People I just, are four uh, or five months. Research. Yeah. Of, of garden time. Come on. You, you need yeah. to, you need to have some plants going <laughs> now. But yeah. look, let us know in, in the comments what grow lights do you have have you had success with don't let us know about the ones that didn't work out let us know the grow lights you had success <laughs> with yeah. and we're gonna talk about a couple of uh Run with Run with yeah my vivison grow lights are on the way i've heard good things about vivison good things about vivison i've never tried them but i've heard good things about them. Now, Indiana uh, Backyard Gardener said, you don't need fancy light. A shop light will suffice for a few weeks. Dude, I got my Look, Stacey, can you entertain the people for uh, 30 yeah, yeah, seconds? Yeah, I can't put a second. Yeah, I can't put them on the screen, but I can read. Mike uh, Chaotic says, to my mother-in-law, oh, it jumped. To my mother-in-law, rest in peace. What's up? What's a cuss? <laughs> if she was furious, she said it. Uh, at home with Sheree, I think it depends on if you just want to start seeds or if you want to grow seed to harvest indoors. I use cheap LED lights, all different brand, all work. Yeah, I know Sheree does a lot of uh, indoor growing. She's in Minnesota. So, yeah, I know she does a lot of that. Now, I went to Home Depot, and this this was my first grow light. I've done it since then. But I want to say... This housing, the clamp light, clamp, whatever. This was nine dollars, I want to say. The bulb was five dollars. It worked. It worked. Right. Might not have been to the level that I wanted, but for what I was trying to do, it worked. You just right. leave them on for a long time. But some of the downsides with this, I want to tell you, this outer cover gets very, very hot. You will get a second degree burn using this here all this get hot and i'm i'm just wanna people who want to use shop lights i want to give you the whole truth about it yeah gets hot it's, it's not strong as the leds yeah. i want to say it's not as strong as the led but if you put it close to your ceiling keep them really close it can get the job done right. for less than twenty dollars till you can do better yeah i'm just saying and the one that I seen on Amazon, it was a clamp, but it had it was a clamp with the LED. It had like the flat light LED light with the clamp on it, and you know that may be a little bit better. I'm not sure, 
but I'm, I'm gonna give one of them a try. Also got the, the the ones that clamp, and it's got you know five prongs that fan out. That's you can split out. them out with an LED. Yeah. That worked yeah, fine. That yeah, that worked yeah. fine. And then you can you really got a good chance to spread them out on how you uh doing everything. Right. Uh, Cheryl Faulkner said I use grow lights for my starts plus my indoor plants. Okay. Okay. Which grow lights you using uh over there, Cheryl? Mike uh say to my mother-in-law, RIP bless bless your heart was a cuss. <laughs> if she was fierce, she'd say, Hey, my grandma too. Yeah, bless his heart. Bless his heart. <laughs> he crazy, bless his heart. <laughs> At home with Cherie say, I think it depends on if you just want to start seeds or you want to grow from seed to harvest indoors. Ah, oh, that's a that's a good point. Yeah, yeah. She said, I use cheap LED lights, all different brands, all work. That's a good point, Sharif. I don't know if I could say that in the building. Now, <clears throat> what I'm trying to do is, um, I'll let Stacey tell you how he's doing his, but yeah, I want to get them to, um, they got a couple true leaves and they're ready mm -hmm. to be transplanted outdoors. Now, I right. go through a whole process about introducing them to the sun and all that stuff, mm -hmm. but I'm not trying to, like, people growing in their arrow gardens and they got to have really yeah. intense light. That's not yeah. what I'm doing. Yeah, me either. Yeah, I need to use grow lights and warm mats. It's pretty dark inside my. Okay, if you know, all this stuff is going to depend on, you know, what you got going on. You know, so I um uh, I'm gonna grow mine in my uh, greenhouse. That's what I'm gonna do my start set. But what me and Broke was talking about before, I got to figure out a way. I'm gonna slide a heater in that greenhouse, man. If I slide a heater oh. in that greenhouse, I ain't gonna worry about no cold snaps. <laughs> it won't even matter. Yeah. I'm gonna send you that link, that one I got off Amazon. Uh okay. and see what you think. It wasn't that expensive. Uh any other say I was sponsored by Spider Farmer. Yeah, hey, throw some of that sponsorship over him. No, nah, I'm good on grow lights. Nah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I might be able to sell it. I <laughs> K Renee say I have Bill <laughs> <laughs> just lights on Amazon. Yeah. Um, I, I heard good thing about the Viva Sun lights. I heard a lot of people yeah. like them. See, now this, when you get into the money, I, see I use full spectrum grow lights. This yeah. is where the dollars start rolling in. Yeah, um, if you don't know, Mike stays in a colder climate. So yeah. he, he has less growing time. So once he get his plants in the ground, they got two months to grow, and it's time to eat. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's a little different situation. Yeah. So it's probably worth the money for Mike to do that. Uh, LNL said, I was looking around at the price of the grow lights, and so what I did, I bought some shop lights from Walmart, two in a box for $19 tax and all. Got one last year for $10 from Walmart works. There you go. It all depends on what you're trying to do with them. What you're trying to do, yeah. Yeah. I'm just trying to keep get mine to get to start where I can transfer yeah. them into the ground. Yeah, that's the same here. We got a long growing season. Yeah, we got a long we just growing need to season. Get, them out there. get a jump. Yeah. I'm uh, seeing people that already start picking their vegetables and fruit. But I'm like, dang. <laughs> <laughs> Great say some great value grow light. Hoping that generic light will work. <laughs> great value, great value might grow light. That Walmart, you know, we're gonna say a little prayer. <laughs> it's probably gonna work out. <laughs> we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> put a little holy water on that thing. Hopefully that works out. <laughs> Oh man, you got my stomach. You know, <laughs> the ones that I've seen on Amazon, the LEDs, they had some decent prices, you know. So <clears throat> them to, well, you know, for starters, for me, for somebody like me. Oh, also deep in the dirt, uh Maureen Washington, she just did a video about grow lights. Her son helped her hook up. Hmm. Those are very different grow lights. Those are no, those are step up in the grow light category. So Get a minute, mm. go over there and, and check out Maureen uh, Washington. Uh, I think I put it on my community page. The grow light, 
But get a minute, go over there and check it out. Those lights are on another level. Uh, one pep pepper plant and a husband in and the a building. What's going like, on? They have you in. Yeah. One pepper plant and a husband. One pepper plant and a husband. Like it's, 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 it's hard time for everybody out here, man. <laughs> one pepper plant. Hey, welcome to the chat. We are excited over the moon to have you in here. You are welcome yeah. back in the time on this channel. You are welcome, welcome on. I'm so country. Welcome. Welcome. You welcome. Welcome. <laughs> you also welcome on Hands in the Dirt trying to go over there and check them out. Oh, welcome yeah. in the chat. Yeah. Um, Appreciate you. I think, I think we talked enough about you got your life. weekend gardener. Your weekend gardener? In the building. What's up, your weekend gardener? I think I seen you uh, in here one time before. Look, front porch garden broke for him and snort. Look, dude, I told look, it's, I can't hear. <laughs> I right, look now. What y'all do? Uh, when this uh live over, I'm gonna go and edit all the snorts out. <laughs> <laughs> Super Farm said the first couple of years we would start everything outside on a rack in the sun and move them inside the garage at night. Then I got wife a small greenhouse our first year at the homestead. Yeah, that's what right. Stacy do. Stacy, yeah. uh, put his starts on the greenhouse. In the greenhouse. And then I got a grow table. Once it's warm, I bring everything out on the grow table. Yeah. But I have done the garage thing, too. I had a table sitting in my driveway. <laughs> and that night when it got cold, I put it back in the garage. Then the sun, I, I did that before, too. So, yeah. And then I only started doing it in the house because of that fact there. I didn't like bring them in and out, in and out. I thought I would bring it. Yeah, it's boom. a thing. Yeah. At home, Sharice said the LED lights are very energy efficient and don't get hot. I think bikes can run electricity bill too. My full spectrum LED so little, little difference in utility. Yes, ma'am, they will. That's another fun fact. <laughs> mm. These lights will run your light bill up. Yeah. Yeah. Especially people who got the long shop lights with the grow, yeah. grow bulbs in there. You got to get a third job to pay for them. I'm telling you. <laughs> uh, Rio's Family Garden in the building. What's up, Rio's? What's happening? Uh, yeah, I ain't missed nobody this day. I don't see nobody else who missed Rio. Uh, Regina Kelly. Oh. What? Regina Kelly? Where you at? Regina Kelly she... in the building. Sorry I missed you. What time? You got a time stamp on it? I think I'm behind about two uh, minutes. 7.05. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm past. There she go. There you go, Regina Keller. Welcome in now. Welcome in now. Go off. Um, oh, there she go. Aunt Tia's backyard garden in the middle. What's up, Aunt Tia? Where you been at? Glad to see you. Now we got one more thing that uh near and dear to my heart, Stacy, because okay. one of my favorite videos I ever made, I think I called it mm -hmm. <laughs> growing seedlings in liquor cups. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so another important thing is trade. Yeah. Oh, what how right. you gonna what you gonna grow in? Now, yeah, this is an option. Right, peat peat cups. It works. Yeah. It works. They do. Uh, I got just a regular Dollar Tree cup. It works. Yeah, works. Or I got peat pellets. You can get a whole little dome uh situation going with peat pellets. But right. my new try for this year, dun dun dun, dun two point five bootstrap farmer cup. Yeah, and I'm those not. Are nice. I'm not gonna repot these. I'm not no. gonna repot these. Yeah, you know it going out the door. Yeah, yeah. And the and peat that's pellet. Like. Yeah, the peat pellet. You got to up, up. I don't like up pot. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. Nah. And what? Now I know you tell. I know what you like. You what do you like to use? Uh, to start your yours up. I use um, 
the styrofoam cups, I use the uh, the little six by trays. Uh, you know what I mean? Um, I order some more from um, Amazon. The little six by trays, I use those. I use red cups. Um, anything like that. Like styrofoam cups, man, you can get like 75 of those. You can write on them. You know what I mean? Punch your little holes in the bottom of them. And, they're cheap. And get it done. Yeah, you don't have to get the huge cups, you know what I'm saying? Try to get, yeah, I think they got like a six ounce, and that's enough dirt in there to get it from seed to transplant. So I use so that, are, I use these trays right here. Oh, 10 by 20 trays. Yeah, I bought three more of these today. Um, I got these from Lowe's for $2.99 a tray. What and I like to put my cups in because, yeah, I had, yeah, I love these. I like to put my starts go in there. Huh? I, I gotta go get them because I got I got the tray setting for them, but the tray got yeah. holes in them, and I need one of them 10 by 20 mm -hmm. to set the whole thing of water from the bottom. So the water, and that's what I do. Uh I set all my cups and tray everything in here because it holds water. And when I'm watering, it gets that water in the bottom of the tray. So when it's hot in the summertime or whatever it is. It's always some water for it to, you know what I'm saying, absorb, to get that water from the bottom of the tray just in case I miss a day or something like that. They always got water. So that's why I like to use these. Yeah. I might oh, go grab super. me a couple more. And these, because bootstrap farming, these are thick. Dude, yeah. when I got ready to start uh, playing for spring last year, my styrofoam cups and everything, which everything was awesome in it. But I had to break them, and then I just had little white chips <laughs> all over my yard. Everywhere. This should last a couple of years, so I'm yeah, gonna ride yeah. with this. If it don't work, get what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back yeah. to styrofoam cup and uh, <laughs> and super farms say yes, yeah, solo cup. They're not solo cup. Those are liquor cups. Yeah. When your cousin comes to Thanksgiving dinner <laughs> and he got that red cup, you know it's looking now. Yeah. Those are the official liquor, liquor cups. Cup. You can Those go in picnic cups, picnic barbecue cups. cups. <laughs> you will see these red solo cups. Now, for some <laughs> reason, solo cups come in different color, but you will only yeah. see liquor in the red one. No matter what liquor store you go to from China to uh, Australia, <laughs> they got red solo cups in there. And everybody know they for the liquor. I'm, I'm putting that out yeah, there. They put do me the bad guy. <laughs> but if your cousin got a red cup in church, he's drinking liquor at church. I'm just, we're going to yeah, move yeah. on from that. Yeah. Kimberly if, Ingalls. If your pastor bill, got a red cup. If your red cup. <laughs> man. Your pastor got a red cup. Hey. I'm just saying. Hey. Kimberly Ingalls say, hey, fam, what about LED grow lights? Now, from my understanding, LED grow lights are some of the upper level of grow light. They yeah. also aren't hot to the touch, which is really yeah. nice. Uh, and they also don't run your light bill up. Yeah. That's my understanding on LED grow lights. Uh, right. That's my two cents. Anybody in the uh, comments that have a different opinion about that, uh, let Kimberly know about LED uh, grow lights. We all say yes. I have many different size containers. Those are good size pot. Yeah, nah. It's it's a what? It's a, what's the word for it? Withdrawal? No. The pros and ah. cons to it. Some pros and some cons. Now these, they are marketed as being biodegradable. Yeah. You can plant this whole pot. Yeah. In the soil, but guess what? <laughs> you got there three months later. This pot is still <laughs> sitting out there just like this. This pot does not break down. Just understand this pot will be out here. This pot ain't going nowhere. Do not believe that. Do not believe that. Peat pellets. Now, I ain't gonna lie. Everything growing these got doing peat pellets. But the drawback right. is you gotta up pot them before you take them outside. I'm over there. I got like 300 of these peat pellets. I will always have peat pellets. Now, these cups. I've never used them. Peat pellets? Mm, yeah. 
I never uh, used them. That up high enough get on your nerve, dude. It would definitely get on yeah. your nerve. Now these cups, I've never seen nobody go wrong. And these cups have so many different uses. Kids' birthday mm -hmm. party. Yeah. Yeah. Propagating. Propagating yeah. uh sweet potatoes. Yeah. Drinking look out of them. They have yeah. all kinds of great things. These <laughs> cups are awesome. But I want to try these just to see because it's a 2.5. So you yeah. got this much root yeah, space to grow. Yeah. That's a lot yeah. of good root space. Yeah, that's really good. So, I got something similar to that that I got for free at uh, Home Depot in Florida. You know what I'm saying? The lady, she was like, oh, yeah, we'll give you these. So I got some of those, but they round on the front and flat on the bottom, on the back, I mean, and they look similar to yeah. that. And they got yeah. holes in the bottom of so yeah. Uh, can't, you don't. Can't lose. A lot of these seedlings you want to water from the bottom because it keeps the net mm -hmm. down. It's fungus and all this. You want mm -hmm. to dip. Yankee sister you and Renee in. Garden. Who? Yankee sisters in here. Renee's Garden and Erica Taylor. What? Up? Welcome to the live. Uh, and Ziggy and, Ziggy and Monica in the building. I ain't glad to have y'all all y'all in here. Say salad green plastic container. Yeah, all that work. All look, yeah. all that stuff work when it comes to see store. Yeah. yeah. Look, bacon fall, uh, fall bacon trays from the Dollar Tree. It worked. It all of it worked. Yeah. It just, yeah. however you try, this, it's a certain reason you do what you do, right. and. That's why I do mine like that. DD yeah. in Vegas in the building say I've been using the bootstrap farmer cup like you have broke farm for the past five years here in Vegas. They are amazing. Look here. If those if those uh pots can last five years in Vegas, I'm good down here in Georgia. You good. <laughs> <laughs> Cause you Vegas good. will burn up some out there. <laughs> That's a different yeah, type good. of heat out there, boy. Hey, I'm look. Appreciate that testimony. Now I feel better about my purchase. All right, <laughs> deep in the dirt. Uh, Maureen say you are you two are so much fun. Appreciate it, Maureen. Just having fun Appreciate doing it. our thing. Uh, Bless the heart. Home says, say I started with two liter grape soda uh, bottle. My kids drank uh, bought trays from Amazon last year. One day I upgraded to Bootstrap Farm. Look here, I, I just got them all little way. I ain't gonna lie to you. Look. <laughs> <laughs> I had 72 payments. I get them all little way. You, I, you heard me tell states I gotta get the tray to go with it. I couldn't afford it all at one time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I seen these trays today, boy. I was like, Phew. get some more. And where you got them from? You said uh, low, man. Two ninety, yeah, two ninety nine. Man, and you they, know they, they, they're not the cheapest, you know what I'm saying? They the good you ones. You know I'll be at Lowe's tomorrow because I need something to sit all my, my uh setup down in. Uh Homestead Aquarius. That's said, what I do. Farm. Yeah, just sit them in the water. Uh Homestead yeah. Aquarius said broke farm mama always said, trust plant son. They won't quit putting out if you set them in a cheap ride, the more you know, the more you know, and knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe. Damn. <laughs> that is. You got Ewanda A. I never heard El Wanda. Hey, I never heard that. In the building. Glad to have you in here, El Wanda. Yeah, Stacey El Wanda is, is an OG over here, man. Uh, so yeah, she, man. She, yeah. Man, El, man, El Wanda get, get along pretty well over here on this side of the world. Okay. Aunt Tia say that is playing. Want to double take and ask me why I had all these. Yeah, he saw you with them red cup. He know you was drinking liquor. Now uh, you, 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 <laughs> you gonna got married and man told him you don't drink liquor. You got all these solo cups in him. He, yeah. that man ain't crazy. <laughs> you see a brown <laughs> paper bag, a brown paper bag, <laughs> and a red solo cup. You know it. <laughs> it is only one thing to go along with it. Miss Kia yeah. Parks in the building. Glad to have you in, Miss Kia. Say good evening, Thank broke you. the hands in the dirt, and everyone glad to have you in here. Now we got one more thing. We got two more things I probably want to get to. Now when to start? Now this 
I've heard people say stuff about when to start the seasons on inside. Now, right. Stacey, I'm gonna let you count it. When, when did you start your season? So what I do is I look up my last frost date, right? And you can go on the uh, internet and give and Google the last frost date for your particular city, your particular state. Mine is like April the second or something like that, April first, April second. And then I count back eight weeks, which would put me into the first of February. And that's when I'll start my seeds. But I'm gonna start one week prior to that because I have a greenhouse. So it'll be right at the end of January, first of February. I'll start my seeds inside of my greenhouse. Now, I am going to start some stuff a little earlier. I got some soil and some uh, cups downstairs. I, I'm growing pigeon peas that I got from Dan Permaculture. I should have started them a month or two ago, but it was so cold, I wasn't doing nothing. But I'm going to go ahead and start those pigeon peas, uh, and I'll keep them probably in the house until they come up. And then when they come up, I'll put them in the greenhouse. Yeah. Kimberly Engel asks, uh, I'm new to garden. If you use cup for seed starting, what about a dome to keep it in humidity? You can do that. Yeah, you can. You can. I I don't. I mean, Me either. A, it depends on where you live. Is it cold where you live? Is it cold where there where you got them at? If it's cold, then you might want a dome to get that uh, greenhouse effect. But if it's not cold, no, I don't don't mind. And and another simple thing. Um, you can get a six pack um, peat pellet tray that comes with a dome on top of it. You just mm -hmm. wet those peat pellets, let them rise up, put your seeds in there, put your dome on top. As soon as the uh, seedling busts the soil, take your dome off, and there you go. You just keep watering until it's time to take outside. Yeah. And save those rotisserie chicken uh, containers. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, hey, those rotisserie chicken containers, them takeout containers. <laughs> People said they got the lid already on them. Hey. Fire. There you go. You know, people are uh, cutting them uh, milk jugs and hair. Yeah. A couple of them rotisserie chicken will get a lot of things so Believe yeah. it. Yeah. Garden and Warriors say I have some care aids and they know they'll look at something and say, you want to plant something in this? Don't. Yes. Yes. Everybody understand that now. Egg carton, <laughs> you can't. Look, in my house, you can't throw away egg carton. <laughs> Cause I yeah. I could plant something else, so you are gonna ask me? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Styrofoam yeah. cup trays from uh, Chick Fil A. You need to ask yeah. me. <laughs> Man, Nothing I don't took Gatorade bottles and cut the tops off of them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't took my Fire yeah. Eleven when I was done with it. Don't cut the top out of made a uh, container out of it. Yeah, I don't play no games. <laughs> when you you when look when people know you are a true blue gardener, they don't yeah. throw away nothing. I had people call me uh. say, "Hey, Rick." I got a uh, cardboard over here, man. You want the cardboard? What? Yes, I want the card. <laughs> Go and bring it I over just, here and drop it out. I just, up, I just want to pick up a mini. I got somebody that's uh, really into health stuff, and they always yeah. juicing and all this kind of stuff. So you know how you get the juices, give all that pulp, like you know. Man, I want to got my thirty pound bag of that stuff and put it in my uh, compost bin. Ooh. That's yeah. awesome compost. Already awesome pulp compost. That, yeah, put the leaves over top of it. There it is. <laughs> but they save it for me. I mean, because they know I guard. But look, yeah. if you um, uh, I don't know, you old enough, Stacey. Do you remember yeah. that cartoon, Captain Planet? Yeah. Captain yeah, I mean, Planet, he's our <laughs> hero. Gonna I mean, yeah. take pollution down to zero. Yeah. Captain yeah. Planet. We yeah. we are local Captain Planet. <laughs> yeah, we are saving yeah, yeah. the earth. <laughs> Man. One piece of cardboard for Amazon at a time. At one piece of cardboard at a time. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, one virtuous woman and one vigilant watchman in the building. Glad to have What's you in here. Uh, and Sam, I just saw Sammy. Sammy Joe, nineteen eighty-two, in the building. Hey, so man. you can use pop bottle, cut top off, cut bottom off, and put uh over your cup. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that's that too. Dude, you yeah. can you can literally garden in any kind of way. I'm I'm so yeah. over people saying I can't garden, I ain't got no space, I ain't got no money. Yeah. Oh look, yeah, you can. It's just too many things you can grow in. 
Yeah, it's it's all kind of thing. Now, Stacy killed it on when the uh when the plant. That's six to eight weeks, man. Just go for it. Or you can start earlier, but you're gonna have to repot in the house. <laughs> that ain't yeah. I don't like doing that. Yeah, now you get you get some of the little uh little one gallon pots or whatever. Yeah. Let the plant get big as you want. Yeah. I've let plant stations this no lie. I had some turnip greens in here that was so big. <laughs> I could have literally ate them. And I'm like, right. man, I ain't gonna do this no more. I'm not gonna I, do this no more. I had pepper plants and tomato plants that was in those. Like I grow so much, like just I got a just in case table. Like just in case something died, I can just replace it from my grow table. Yeah. I had stuff sitting there for so long in that grow table. They don't start to get fruit on it. You know, they don't start to grow peppers on them. They don't stop <laughs> to get on them. <laughs> I mean, that might as well stay out there down here. Yeah. I don't know if you can eat. <laughs> yeah. I mean, hey man, the roots be the roots being there like this. They just the roots just brought up in them. <laughs> oh, that, that's that's another good point. Yeah. Uh, you don't want your roots to get root bound in anything. Mm -hmm. That's another thing. So if you start too early and whatever whatever you're growing in your growing medium, mm -hmm. your plants could get root bound in some of these yeah. things. It, so it if, if it get there you go, it kill itself. I mean, yeah. and if it don't kill itself, it's not gonna perform like it mm -hmm. should. And you keep thinking, why is this plant so stunning? Could yeah, root yeah. Same root thing bound. with fruit trees and stuff. Yeah, so, true. John John 74 in the building. What's up, John John? I think we knocked out everything on the uh on the uh oops. Sylvia fit never quit oh, in the yeah. middle. What's up, Sylvia? So I cut the top off my milk milk jug and use it uh to scoop the super juice. Yep. Yeah, that's true too. That's old Leave school. It, the top up. Dude, I, dude, we've been using old milk jug. Things forever like forever. that. We used everything. <laughs> we used to scoop the dog food with all growing up. <laughs> when it was. I keep my old coffee cans. You no, know, the, the plastic they got the plastic coffee cans now. I yeah. keep those. Yeah. Yeah, that fold your coffee can, dude. That's that's you can keep uh rice and everything in them cans, <laughs> Yeah, I keep that's, all that. That's yeah. that's how we grew up with that stuff, man. We didn't have yeah. much money, man. We figured out ways to do everything. Yeah. And garden is the same way, but we've got so spoiled when it comes to garden. It's mm. so many easy ways you can get free pot. It's soil in the back of your yard. You can get that. You can get free fertilizer, banana peels, uh, coffee grinds from Starbucks. It's all kind of ways to get fertilizer. And seeds, Dollar yeah. Tree is selling seeds. Yeah. Don't tell me you yeah. can't afford yeah. a dollar worth of seeds, man. That's four quarters. Really? Yeah, come on, man. I just got it's, it's, probably about 40 pounds of coffee grounds from Starbucks. I went to Starbucks and the lady said, well, um, she asked me when I want. I said, Well, Friday be fine. She said, Well, come back Friday, you know, right before we close. I went there Friday before they close. Man, I could barely pick them bags up of uh oh. coffee grounds that I got from there for free. You know what I'm saying? So my yeah. Starbucks trip. Have nothing. Uh, they said we don't do that no more. I was like, man, I man, hate Starbucks. Close. Man, this is it's a Starbucks kiosk. It ain't no. It's in Kroger, they still, man. They still mean, uh, get plenty of grounds, coffee grounds. <clears throat> I've been on call corporate. I'm like, I thought you guys were trying to be environmental friendly. Blah 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 <laughs> blah blah. blah. <laughs> I, I used to get them from the same the place forever, man. Forever, and it was everything was good. <clears throat> Uh, what is it? Uh, Deborah John say hello, bro. I I lost about ninety m i m on. Meet him on. Let's see, bro. I lost mile oh, lemons. Oh, there we go. Oh, hello, there go. <clears throat> I lost about ninety mile lemons in my green. Ooh, they froze, but my tree is still green. Investing in greenhouse heater for the win uh, winter Memphis, Tennessee. I'm Ooh. doing that now. They're right out there crying. I ain't going to lie to you. All my limbs dead. All my limbs on there like that. I don't know. <laughs> Just little my lemons, my line. I lost all the pretty lemons. 
All Ooh. of them pro. So that's why I am. I will be putting some kind of heat inside of my greenhouse. Hey, space out. That old ugly grown man crying. Ooh. Yeah, that thing hurt <clears throat> that boy. When I opened that greenhouse and looked in that boy, that thing hurt way down in there. Like, <laughs> and I, I've been pretty fortunate, but something I did mess up on my ponderosa lemon has a split yeah. off the limb that go into it, and it just mm -hmm. drop a leaf. I don't think it's gonna make it, man. Yeah. But get what? Well, I got I got a bunch of brown leaves on mine, but I think they're going to be okay. As long as I got some green towards the bottom, you know what I'm saying? I ain't worried about the brown leaves up top because no, I, it'll it's come split. back. But Mine you got to split. split. Yeah, yeah, you might have a problem. <laughs> oh, I'm going to take it right back. I got a receipt. I don't even oh, worry about go. it. Yeah. It's going right back up in there. If it don't, if it don't recover, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It got hooping cough. Take it back. <laughs> Kimberly said, yes, bought some today from Dollar Tree. There you go. Who can yeah. afford Dollar Tree C? Dollar 25. Let's go get them. Yeah. Uh, future gener generation will be taught uh, while mom and dad grew their own food in any container they could find and kept the chickens in the house with them. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly, man. Yeah. Uh, Panera. Oh, I, I was Googling this. Panera. Yeah, they will give you coffee grind, and a lot of local coffee shops will give it to you, too. Yeah, but Panera 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 right there. Now we got one uh and sitting uh right next to me. My yeah. limbs are red when they have a little yellow on them, they still taste good. Took all mine out before the free. Yeah, that's what I should have did. Mine was yellow when I should have now a whole bunch of should have would have even my lines, my key lines lost all them. Yeah, so I, okay. Um now I did a video where I had a silver hill sassuma. And they were orange, but they had a little green on them. Mm -hmm. I went ahead and pulled them. Now they wasn't yeah. super sweet, but they were edible yeah. uh oranges. Sometimes, right. man, just pick that stuff. I you mean, go ahead and get it, man. And then with a lime, with a lemon tree, I don't care if my lemon tastes like a lime. I just want to <laughs> you know what I'm saying I just want <laughs> I still don't know what to do because I've heard if you have a lime, a lime tree with a lime on it. If it's yeah. sitting there long enough, it's gonna turn yellow. So if it yeah. turns yellow, I ain't in the lemon. I guess I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm so confused by that. But you see, I in know. a lot of foreign countries, they be calling lemons limes, and you know it's all over the place. I yeah, I, I'm so confused by that. Yeah. Um, oh, what one more thing I want to touch on, Stacy. Okay. Pruning. We we done right. with the seed star. Pruning mm. fruit tree. Nah, right. before we. Yellow door urban homestead in the building. What's going My on? My homegirl over there, Asia, killing it over there. Killing right. it on YouTube. Official. Uh, the compost champion. Okay. The duo all things well in the garden. Asia, yellow door urban homestead in the building. Glad to have you in here. Now, something I want to talk about. Uh, about this time of the year before spring, you know, people start pruning their fruit trees and everything. Mm -hmm. Now, I got a different opinion. I, I'm pretty sure, Stacey, me and you don't agree on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm glad you're here. Before you prune your tree, ask yourself, why do I want to prune this tree? Some people True. have no rhyme or reason. They just say, hey, it's been a, it's almost spring. I got to uh, prune my tree. Now, mm -hmm. First thing you want to understand is if your tree is getting taller, then you can pick the fruit off. Yeah. Top it off if that's yeah. your thing. Yeah. Next thing, yeah. if you have crossing branches, will give yeah. your tree diseases. Cut that. I do. If you yeah. have dead limbs, yeah. cut the dead limb. Yeah. Now, yeah. for any other, you might want to eliminate limbs to get airflow. Right, you know, right, right. They always talk about. Umbrella. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. But if you got a yeah. little bit of tree that's about four or five feet, leave that tree long. Stop killing these trees yeah. out here. I don't cut on them like that. I use the I use the same thing that you use. If I got branches that are crossing like this, I cut those. Uh if one is growing way, I cut the top out like my pear tree. I don't cut the top out of it so many times because it just goes straight up, you know, cut the top out. Cut, yep. Because I rather put the bush out. Than to be tall, um, yeah. But I just don't be pruning just to be pruning. No, if I see something, yeah, dead, I, I cut that off. Yeah, 
Yeah, I cut my uh my pear trees down this year. But what happens is once you cut them out and then you start getting that candle, all them outside limbs start filling out. See if your fit never quit. Say, I want to know when or do you prune blueberries? Nah. Uh, how big is Sylvia? How big is your blueberry tree? What you think about that state? Yeah. Um, I, if it's a little tree, let that tree live. Yeah, I didn't prune my blueberries. Yeah. I've never seen a blueberry big enough where I feel like it need. How tall the blueberry? They get tree big now. About? My neighbor got one that's humongous, but you know the they've never pruned it. They hardly even fool with it. The, you know, the original owner, the son, you know, when he, the father, I remember when he planted it, but you know, his son, he never back, back that fooling with the, with the blueberry. I need to go dig that tree up at night and slide it over in my yard. Now, case in 55, you just made me think about something. The gas station. Yeah. I, I never even thought, and I got a relationship with some of the gas stations. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to bust and I give you what I broke from some of some these yeah, things. Yeah. Quick trip and um, what's the other one? Um, I got a lot of them around me. Yeah, you know they got a bunch of yeah. They have all those coffee things, all the different type of coffees you can try. Yeah, that'd be perfect. Oh, uh, here we go. See if it said they are not really big. Just did not know if you have to prune them. Nah, Let them live. Them babies. Them babies. Yeah. Let them babies grow. Nah. Yeah. All right. Something else, a lot of people say on um, fruit trees, you can prune them for more fruit. I'm not saying nobody wrong. I'm not yeah. saying nobody wrong. I just don't agree with that. The only thing yeah. is that I, I believe you need to prune for better fruit production are things like blackberries that have canes. And is it like that on oh, the old canes? Muscadines, yeah, you want to. You got to prune. You need to prune muscadines too, um, because last year vines, um, the new vine is going where the fruit is going to grow. Yep. So you go back and you try to prune out last year's vines. Yeah. So yeah, Shane does a whole big thing on that. Shane from Kent Folks Farm, he does a yep. whole big thing on uh, pruning all them. Uh, yeah. But and those are first off. You, you got to talk to 50 people. Then you got to watch 50 video. And I'm, I'm being dead serious. Y'all think I'm crazy. Because you got to find something that worked for your situation. Everybody's situation is different. Me, I don't want my fruit trees to get above 10 feet. I'm going to keep cutting them down and cutting them yeah. down because I'm only, uh I'm almost six feet. Yeah. My arm, maybe seven and a half feet. I can't yeah. read 10-foot fruit, so I'm not going to yeah. let them get that big. Yeah. And I'm not just going to randomly be chopping on my trees because they say, hey, it grow more. Well, when are you going to get the fruit? <laughs> if you chop these trees every year, when are you going to get the fruit? But man, yeah. that's my thing. I'm with you Brooklyn, on that. Your Brooklyn News. In the building. But I don't know. That's just how I feel. But, and the only reason I brought that up because I hear people talking about pruning, and they're so unsure on when to uh, prune and why to prune. Remember what I said. Before you prune your fruit tree, A, why are you pruning that tree? Right. Two, are the branches... That's, did I say A then, too? Man, I know it by time. <laughs> I meant B. <laughs> are the branches crossing? If the branches are crossing, they will cause disease in the branch. Cut, cut yeah. the branch. Um. Yeah. Make me lose my train of thought. Cut the uh, branch. If it's a dead branch, obviously cut, prune the dead mm -hmm. branches off. And depending on how high you want the, the tree to get, prune that. Right. Or um, yeah. and prune it's when it's thing. dormant too. Prune your yeah. when it's dormant. There you go. Yeah. 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 Prune when it's dormant. Oh, and make sure you get airflow. You can you can see it yeah. better when yeah. all the when the leaves fell off, it's hard to tell by good airflow why you got leaves on it. What you were saying, Stacey? Yeah. yeah, I was saying, yeah, um, make sure you prune them when it's dormant. You know what I'm saying? When, you know, the tree is dormant before it starts to bud, you know, because once it starts to bud, then the tree is coming to life. You know, it's coming, every, it's going to do its thing. I mean, you could still prune then, but 
I would do most of my pruning before you know my plant starts to bud. While it's uh, going. Now, now this is something crazy. I got this place where I can get muscadines all day for eight bucks, and I'm just I'm scared of muscadine. Your little urban home says say that you prune muscadine vines back to the main vine and let it grow back. I need to learn that I have one. Well, I'm gonna let you have that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to once you when, when you're looking at it, you will know. I guess it's kind of hard when you prune the muscadine. That new growth on your muscadine vine, depending on how old your vine, that's gonna be where your new fruit is gonna be. You know what I mean? It's like a sort of almost like a blackberry. The canes from last year, you know, that the blackberry grew on, the blackberry is going to grow on the new canes this year. They're going to grow on the new canes this year. So the old canes are just going to be out there. Like I, I try to grow the ones that are thornless. I got one with thorns on it. It'll be tearing me up every time. But it do put out some good berries. But the old canes are just going to turn into like hard wood. You know, they're going to be like hard wood. So, you know, you prune those. Now, now my blackberry plant, isn't that big so it was easy to tell which one fruit it last you know what i mean and it's yeah, way yeah, yeah. but i'm thinking once they get big it's harder to tell and you really got to i don't know i, I figured out looking. a better way to do it but one of them really woody looking it's gonna be really yeah. woody looking probably darker and woody looking but a, a easy way to do that get you some red uh what's that tape that you uh they do splice yeah. i mean uh, grab them with, get some of that red tape yeah. and mark every, just mark every limb so you know all these are old limbs. Are new growth. Yeah, yeah. Are you new growth? And you're, it's so much easier after that. Yeah. Uh, Yankee sister said, "When do you spray your fruit trees?" I okay. spray mine uh, with carbon fungicide before they come out of dormancy. Probably mm -hmm. two times before they come out of dormancy. You definitely don't want to spray them while they got uh buds and flowers on. Yeah, yeah, and that's what I use too. I got copper fungicide, neem oil. Um, I hit them trying everything that's in the ground before they come up and crawl up your tree, you know, and all these different things, eating up your fruit and killing your tree. Now, I'm, now you know, Stacey, I'm different. I got a lot of unpopular opinion, <clears throat> and this is another one. I've talked to a lot of uh our plant professors, uh, botanists or whatever. Talk to a couple yeah. of these guys. Once most of your trees have a disease, that disease is there. Yeah. A lot of that copper yeah. fungicide we do is to prevent. If, if your uh, tree got a bad disease, it's, it's either going to yeah. have it for life or it's going to beat it on, on its own. If right. you got and, a disease, yeah. it's hard to get it out. That's true. I got one with a disease. I got my oldest peach tree has, uh, I'm trying to think of that, that uh, canker disease. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. We, you see that little jelly looking stuff that be growing out on the plant. Yep. I mean, on the on the branches. And mm -hmm. then sometimes you'll see that little jelly looking stuff growing out on the fruit. Um, and so every year, you know, I get my gloves on, I get a clean play. I might know I got to play surgeon on it. I go and cut out uh as much but that tree this may be his last year for that tree i don't know if i'm gonna keep yeah. fooling with it but i go and cut out as much of that disease part of that bark and that little jelly looking stuff you don't want to you want to get it out of your yard you want to burn it you don't want to throw it in your grass you want to get rid of it, put it in wood somewhere right there to get rid of it because a lot of this stuff is airborne diseases you know what i mean yeah. and you got to be careful when you're um, weeding around your uh, trees and stuff like that. Ooh. That's what happened to this tree. You know what I'm saying? I wounded the tree with a weed eater years ago. I don't had the tree maybe eight years, maybe longer. And I wounded it with a weed eater. And that's where it started. That's where it opened up the a wound in the tree where in the bark where that disease could get in there. And I went in there and cut and pruned out all kind of branches. Every time I see a branch that got that stuff on it, I cut that whole entire branch out. I cut back as far as I can so I don't see any more of that disease. I spray it with the copper fungicide. After I let that dry, I come back and spray it with the black. It's some kind of black um, paint that you paint trees with the wounds with to close it off. I yeah. do all that right there to try to protect that one tree. But this year, if I get the itch, it might be coming out the ground going way back up in the woods somewhere. 
because but, I got too many other trees. I don't want that. To, I don't want mother trees to get that disease. And this is the thing. Um, like Stacy said, injuring a tree can put that disease in it quick. Yes, uh, another thing, make sure uh, the trees you buy is okay with where you going. I mean, where you live at and all they disease resistant. Because I got a pear tree, man, since day one. It's just holding on to life. <laughs> it don't it, it don't want to die. I had about three <laughs> years. I got two pairs off of last year. Yeah. So so every time I find some black limbs, oh uh, yeah. I just cut the limbs. <laughs> cut the limbs and off. Then next, next thing you know, it's propped back up. But I yeah, know yeah, eventually yeah. I gotta get rid of it so it I won't mean, infect the other trees, but yeah, they're putting pairs out. Yeah, so that's what mine. Mine putting out plenty of peaches, but the squirrels been getting them all. But it, it every year it's loaded with peaches. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I just yeah. When you get tired of fooling with it, you know you go ahead and get rid of it. I don't. Yeah, I, and I'm I just scared. Know. I'm scared that it's going to spread the disease to. And I got too many fruit trees in there to worry about one peach tree. When I got yeah. a bunch of peach trees that are younger, you know what I'm saying? They're young and tender. You know what I'm saying? Not <laughs> nigga like to say young and tender. Yeah, you got to get them young and tender. So yeah. But I mean, yeah. I don't know. This, I, I just, it's I'm hard, very, man. It's hard. It's hard. I don't, and dude, it's an Asian pear, man. Dude, yeah. that fruit looked so good on it last year, Stacey. Oh, it was earlier uh, that guy, man. Earlier that guy. Air oh, man. I got, that. look, I got three air layers I don't had on for six months, man. I, I, I <laughs> saw them at the wrong time. <laughs> hey, my process was. <laughs> Awesome, it was impeccable, but I just I think I, I started too late in the season, and the, yeah. dude, the soil still looked more through no weeds. Mm. Do you remember when I made that video? How long ago that was? Yeah, I still uh, got yeah, I remember seeing you had that video. I haven't seen when you had the black things, the little black balls that you had. <laughs> oh man, see <laughs> now. Look, this this is this is a good point you just made, Stacey. For everybody who is a content creator, when you make a video, upload your video. Yeah. And this is why I say that. No matter how much you think your video suck, yeah. YouTube might like it. And if that's YouTube true. like it, YouTube going to send it to the world. Because yeah. that same uh, cloning ball video Stacey talking about, yeah. I did everything wrong in that video. <laughs> everything. I didn't do one thing right in that video. That video, as of as we speaking, has fourteen thousand views. <laughs> yes, that's all that counts. <laughs> now, the 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 uh, airline video I did, well, I did everything right. I don't think five hundred people seen that video. It's so just wild. It's just crazy like that. So just know if you yeah, video upload, you don't know you what don't know YouTube wants to catch. So I, I had yeah. a good high percentage of success with air layering last year, man. That one pear tree, my oldest pear tree, I air yeah. layered a big branch. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to get this thing. It's, man, it had roots on it. So I got it. I'm going to put it in a five gallon bucket or something. So when I get ready to move or whatever, I can leave that tree because I already got your youngin off of it. You know what I'm saying? I already got a piece of that ready to go. Yeah. So. Yeah, air layer stuff, man. I ended up getting a lot of fruit trees last year from air layer. And that's the thing, though. I, I noticed this. Once you get a couple of air layer going, you got that magic touch to it. I noticed that people who got a couple of air layers to go after yeah. that, they, hey, they chop the wood after that. It, you yeah. know what I mean? Because my first one was not successful. <laughs> you know <what> I'm <laughs> yeah. I mean, successful. I got. I, I think I got the technique right. I just yeah. got the. I don't know. First off, the right time of year. It was not the right time of year for yeah, me to be doing yeah, that. Yeah. But I'm gonna leave it on now. The soil still must. We are gonna see what happens. And of course, I'm gonna do a video and let you know. Nigga said uh, the videos that suck definitely seem to get more views than the ones that you think are better. Facts. That's true. All facts. Because you looking at the video from your standpoint. Mm -hmm. And you looking at it if it's clean, edits, all that. Don't mm -hmm. nobody care about that stuff though. It they nah. don't. And I'm nah. trying to do better with the edit. 
But yeah. my views ain't gonna go up because you know it, the edit sharp. They yeah. want they want to be entertained. Yeah, they want to see what you got in your garden. That's awesome. That's it. But look, yeah. we're gonna have to get up out of here, man. This has been an awesome night. I yeah. oh to everybody in the chat, little homework real quick. Find one person in the chat that you unfamiliar with their YouTube channel and look up, look them up. Now I'm finna uh last time I did it was uh super spawn. Let's see, uh 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 what, what was her name? Uh Stacy uh my dear homestay, what was that? Oh, oh bless his heart, bless my heart, bless bless heart homestead. Bless my heart, bless your heart, bless your heart. Something, yeah. Oh man, Is it, bless your heart, homestead. Are you still in here? Oh, UT uh 33 in the building. What's up, big guy? Glad to have you in here. Say appreciate the hangout. Thanks for the share. Oh, there you go. Bless her oh, heart, yeah. homestead. Yeah. Bless her heart, homestead. I'm I right, bless her heart, homestead. Hey, uh, you are my channel for this week to go check out. Who you got, Stacy? Oh, that's a lot of first. <laughs> Did I come back? That's a lot of pressure. Uh, let me try. Um, most of these, a lot of people I know. Um, I seen something. I've been to Yellow Door before, but I don't know if I come. I might try old Yellow Door. Try Yellow Door. I think you. I think you'll be all right with Yellow Door. Urban I, I, think I watched some of home video. Girl, I, I don't know if I commented or not. Cool. Yeah. Yellow door homestead. So, That's me right there. So everybody in the comment got their homework. Yeah, I'm definitely going to holler the gas station. So everybody got their homework. They know who they're going to go check out. Take a minute, scroll up and down. And if you are a content creator, put something in the chat so everybody know you still here. Matter of fact, if you're a content creator, put your hand up so everybody know. Let's start there. Maybe. Put your hand up and say, hey, is that the hey? Is that hey? Or is hey that high? I always wanted. Were they saying hey or was that a high five? They were saying high five, man. I don't know what they were saying. Howdy. Hey there. <laughs> I don't see it down here in the country. Hey there. <laughs> hey there. <laughs> On the front porch. Hey, hey there. All right. Now, now they rolling through. Everybody look at people who got their hands up. These are content creators. Pick one and go check them out. Man, just one chunk. And we let, let's highlight a couple of these things. Okay. Uh super spawn. That, that was my uh last yeah, week challenge. Like, I was glad I went over there. Very glad. Yeah. And they are homestead. Uh GT Jr. It homestead frog. Aquarius. Frog man. Hey, so did you put your hand up? No, she didn't. Yeah, yellow, yellow door, door urban homestead is content created. She didn't put her hand up. My bad. My bad. Nikki, Renee Garth, Nikki, Renee Garth, Nikki, Renee Garth G3, GS Farm, and the big and big guy. Uh, Deep in the Dirt, Maureen Washington. Nobody else put their hand up? I guess, I guess that's all the content created stuff. Well, for, for those I, that don't know who I am, come check me out. Your boy, hands in the dirt. When, when, down I mean, here in Georgia. Now, but Stacey, what if what if they uh bored on Wednesday and they oh. want to have a cold drink and wind down? What what did they do, Stacey? Yeah, come check me out every Wednesday, 7 p.m. for wind down on Wednesday. For those who know, you know. We have a good time. We, you know, we cut up. We talk about a little bit of everything. We talk about gardening and a little bit of this and that. And it's a fun time. We do some trivia. We do the gardening confessionals where you can come confess, <laughs> your, you can come confess your garden sins. If you kill something this week, or even if you did something great, you can just let everybody know what's so good happened or what's so bad happened. And we do that just to let everybody know. We all do things that you know that nobody's a pro or expert at anything. You are not alone when it comes to killing plants. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Look, and and um, unless I'm having a blood transfusion or at work, I'm done. 
wins. I don't catch everyone because I have things to do. Yeah. But if I got a chance, I'm in there and I'm sipping. Yeah. When Stacy said, put your pinky finger up and have a drink, <laughs> I got my pinky finger up and I'm having a cold, <laughs> cold uh, adult beverage. Right, How you say? Right, right. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, but uh, Stacy is also in Georgia, but he's in 7B. A yeah. little uh, conversation and, 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 re- and pulling stuff out of his brain from his years of gardening. It's this yeah. awesome thing about this gardening community. It's so many people to tap into to get some answers for. He can't be that. Sure. It's free. It's free. Yeah. So, so y'all, um, I, I want y'all to enjoy what. And if the co-host is Nick. And sticky tongue guy. <laughs> Nick yeah, if you don't have co-host. a pack, pack of- <laughs> And look, when you talk to Boozer Prepper, let Boozer know that I've. I've said her name three times, gave her all this free promo, and she ain't in him. Come on, Boozy. Boozy, 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 I said it like 10 Boozy times. <laughs> Kimberly yeah. said, uh, just subscribe to two. There you go. There, there you go. go. So everybody who's a content creator, uh, in the comments, you do the same too. Find somebody, check their uh, thing out. Right. Their channel out. Like, Stacey, you got anything to go say before we go? Yeah, man, we just appreciate everybody coming in. And don't forget to check out the chat, too. Uh, That's what me and Nikki, it'll be on either our channel. On Saturday nights at 7 p.m., we do the chat. We talk about serious conversations about a little bit of worldly, you know, a little bit of everything. So check out the chat on Saturday nights, either on my channel or the Everyday Life of an OCD's channel, 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if it's on Nikki's channel, she might give you an awesome word that you can use in your everyday vernacular. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. The word I said. Come on, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. That boy said vernacular. That boy said and yeah, I felt, vernacular. Hey, <laughs> look, Stacey, and I, I felt like I used a curriculum sentence. You did. <laughs> yeah. Look, I just, see, that's what happened. If y'all go over there to the chat on Saturday, you can start using yeah. big words like that big and word. impress your whole family. Yeah. <laughs> Look, man, I I appreciate y'all being in here, man. Y'all have a wonderful weekend, man. See y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Bye.